Yes, we're live. We're live. We are live. Yes, we are live. Give me one second, y'all. Yup, just gonna keep it just like I'm talking to y'all. Right, if we with like I'm gonna do this video if you're in the room with me and I'm talking to you and y'all's in the room with me or whatnot, this is how I'm gonna do this video. And uh we're gonna go from there, man. That's the activated AF1, man. We are the United Futuritarians. We came from the future and we're not playing no games. We came to set the structure, we came to set the archives, we came to set the future uh foundation for the next generation gen a yes gen a gen a see ain't nobody on the internet talking about gen a you know why they ain't talking about gen a because i just heard a a, a caucasian say he's scared of generation alpha d y'all can go google that the caucasian said dude you know he was sitting there and he was on his live show he goes you, you know one thing about uh generation alpha he was talking to like his his followers and stuff, you know, he wasn't talking to nobody. It wasn't a podcast or nothing, but he said, you know about Generation Alpha? He was like, I'm scared of them. You know why they're scared of it? Because their minds can't process this stuff. Everything that their minds process has been taught to them. They receive, they, they receive slight uh, intelligence, you know, dealing with the inventions and stuff like that. But when it comes to just, cause constantly receiving it, receiving it, receiving it, receiving it. Excuse me, they know they're not chosen for it. I'm going to give you all an example. Remember that statue where the guy, right, he, it's, a, it's a European statue, and the guy's sitting there. I forgot his name, but he's sitting there thinking like this on the statue, just sitting there. Thinking that because that was a sign that they have to really, really, really focus to receive something from the future. Because when you're dealing with the neural cortex in your in your head, the neural cortex that's in your head is a receiver, but it also goes and it transmits to di different frequencies. They they know it's so hard for them to tap into the highest frequencies that they really have to concentrate to do it. See, the chosen ones, it's just going to come because we already cleansed our minds out. We already cleansed everything out. We already flushed all the stuff that's on our minds down the toilet. It went. <laughs> It takes a lot of mind power and it takes a lot of um, strength to cleanse everything out your mind as far as what you've been taught since you came out your mama's womb, what you've been taught from um, your peers. Let's go to your, your brother, your sister, your cousins, your family, your school, the media, uh, teachers, uh, friends, um, associates businesses, Webster Dictionary, encyclopedias, books, old dusty books, right, uh, TV, radio stations, music, ha that's what it takes, it takes for you to flush all that stuff down the toilet, the, especially the stuff that you really don't need. The stuff you really don't need, man, that stuff just goes down the toilet, man. There is nothing else on the planet but extended mind, power, and soul. That's it. I keep telling everybody, ain't nothing else. Well, hey, brother AF1, how do you get activated? You have to be around people that's activated to get activated because that's the only way. It's just like if you're going to play basketball, right? You're on a court playing basketball. Are you going to hang with people that play, play golf? You gonna hang with people that play football, like on a consistent basis. If you if you're on a consistent basis and you're trying to you're trying to extend yourself and learn something, how are you gonna be hanging with people? You're a basketball player, but you're steadily hanging with uh, people that play golf. Peace, power, and soul to the brother uh, Anu Clear. He stepped into the cyberverse. Got the council going through the cyber cyberverse like Neo went through the Matrix. Like, like Neo went through the matrix, going through these ethers, going through the ethernet, the internet, ethernet, just going through there, just like Neo, Neo did in the matrix. All these movies had to come out. All these movies had to come out because everything's taking a shift, going to the matrix, going to, um, there's another movie that just came out. Actually, it was a good movie. It was on Netflix, but 
I understood what in that movie, I forgot what the movie was called. But the movie was basically showing the movie was basically showing um that uh, the cyborg it was a cyborg that uh the army that was ruling that planet had captured but it was a, it was a cyborg from their enemies they captured the cyborg but the cyborg was already genetically programmed not to touch royalty he was already g genetically programmed through uh through uh oh, okay okay I so I see you genetically programmed not to touch royalty and see that's what's happening dealing with this ethernet and artificial intelligence when you see these people on the internet talking about artificial intelligence now when they hear these videos they're going to be talking about all oh, artificial we have to learn how to manipulate it learn how to control it learn how to do this and learn how to do that see our future selves already put codes in artificial intelligence not to touch the ones that are worth being salvaged this is some stuff that they don't want y'all to know about the there's a soul let's go let's go to the bloodlines right i heard some teachers talking about bloodline 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 right let's go to the bloodline this is going past bloodline we're talking about a soul line is what we're going remember soul train we're talking about a soul line that's going on here connected connecting through souls and not blood bloodline is for the neanderthals bloodline is for them bloodline is for the ones that you know were genetically modified from whatever monkey whatever y'all want to say that was modified from they go by bloodlines we go by the soul line see there's a difference in that when you're dealing with soul because soul you can't see you can't touch it you can't manipulate it only thing you can do is keep it moving forward or sell it and these souls over here ain't for sale i'm letting y'all know right now it ain't for sale so soul line and bloodline Go back, go back to the, y'all can Google all this stuff since y'all like to Google everything since y'all uh, Google Safi Kings. Go to the bloodline dealing with the Queen of England, dealing with their bloodline, dealing with the Rothschilds, dealing with all that stuff. They're going by bloodline because they can't tap into the soul line. They ain't going to come out here and tell y'all this stuff. They can't tap into the soul line. They tap into the bloodline. If you tap into the soul line, why would the bloodline even matter? The bloodline, you can take you can take somebody's blood and alter it. You can take their blood, you can alter it, you can shift their DNA, you can turn them in, modify them, you can turn them into something different, turn them into something. That's where you get the Egyptians from. They walking around with, with animal heads and all that stuff, uh, manipulating the blood of the bloodline. So you can't manipulate no souls. You can't even touch it. So that's why the soul line is more critical than the bloodline. See, we're going into generation A, generation alpha. The soul line, not the bloodline. The bloodline, they had they run. The bloodline had they run. Now we're going through the soul line. Connected, connected mentally, physically, and soulfully through the unseen, through the ether, through the dark matter. We're connecting through the dark matter. The dark matter is so critical right now when you're dealing with dark matter because... The dark matter has to overstand, mega stand, ultra stand that when you're dealing with dark matter, right? You're dealing with a canvas, a canvas of the universe. That's a canvas, right? Without dark matter, what would you have? I'm talking about on a physical realm because a lot of teachers is on a physical realm. See, that's why we stress soul because soul's the unseen. Soul's, soul is eternal. That's why when we say the 200, the 200 rising, because if you're from the future and you tapping in from the future, right, that means you was the first. If you tapping in, right, and you're going past every teacher on the Internet, you're going past every teacher on the Internet mentally. So it doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand when when the 200 first came to this planet, right, the first 200. They were from the future. I don't be understanding why people don't get this stuff. They were from the future, right? So you're dealing with souls. You're not dealing with the physical. Everybody's on a physical, physical, physical. The activation part is the 200 that was the first 200 on the planet will be the last 200 to leave. You can go ask a scholar. You can go ask a professor. You can go ask um, 
somebody that's in science that one dude that be on TikTok with the funny hair and stuff the little brother and stuff he's always talking about you know you know that science stuff you can go ask him too you know where he's gonna go back to he's gonna he's gonna think about it and be like that 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 makes sense but then he's gonna go back to google siri and alexa because that's their god google siri and alexa is their god uh, yeah, as above, so beyond. Going, man, we going past 3D, 4D, 5D, uh, 11D, 13D, 14D. But there is no limit. You're going to just keep going. You're going to go past the void. What is the biggest thing in the universe? The biggest thing in the universe, right, is the void. And that thing's huge, right? Going past all this stuff. Because if you're going to say you're a God and you're going to say you're a God and you are part of the and you and you and you are part of the creation. Right. Then you go past that, too. You go past God's, too. See, mentally, soulfully, we're going to pass all the stuff that y'all see on Google, Siri, and Alexa, Webster dictionaries, cyclopedias, books, um, teachers, peers, family. Uh, what else? Music. Radio, um, radiation, uh, spirits, ghosts, all that stuff, man. I literally saw a ghost flee out the house when I came up in there. This was about, about three years into the activation, man. I went to this house. I literally saw the ghost leave. Then I said, well, why would it, why would it leave? There's because when you're activated, you always be like, there's a reason why. Right. Then I was thinking to myself, I said, maybe when you're dealing with a nuclear bomb, right, you're dealing with a nuclear bomb. When a bomb, when a nuclear bomb goes off, you can't physically look at it. Right. Without it messing up your eyes. Cause that's how bright it is. That's how much, that's how much bright that the nuclear bomb is. So I thought to myself, I said, so when, so when I came in the house, the only thing that go saw was so much brightness coming off, just like in the matrix. When Neo was in the matrix, when he got, when Neo got activated, cause they're just showing you in the matrix about activation. When Neo was trying to get activated, trying to get activated, trying to get activated, the whole movie. Look at the first matrix and go really that the make the first matrix is talking about activation. Neo was trying to get activated through the whole movie. When he got activated, all he saw was ones and zeros. Nothing else mattered. When Neo got activated, all he saw was ones and zeros. Right. And then what he do go into the agent's body. What was that a sign of? It was saying that I can go into your soul. I can scan you. I can destroy you. That's what the Matrix is. Can't nobody decode the Matrix like the Futuritarians can decode these movies. We just don't do it. Because then y'all go to Patreon and y'all run to your little, little and then y'all act like y'all came up and don't acknowledge the source. And you're going to have to pay for that in this life and the next one. Because the source is back. What do you, why do you think they only have one, one, one leader ru ruling stuff? Right? They got one leader, but who's in the background controlling the leader? The council is in the background controlling that dude or that woman. This does not take rocket science, right? So now when the council comes back, see, we have to come through. The, see, our souls came through a portal. See, they, see, our future selves didn't have to come pop down. Our future selves didn't have to come pop down and be like, Phew. Hey, you know you guys are chosen. We'll figure it out. Because once you're activated, you figure it out. Now, World War IV, this is a warning to the whole planet to the, and to the solar system and to the other planets in the solar system. Because that's going to trickle off into a into a real solar system galactical war. World War IV, that's going to be the beginning, the one. Cause you're going into the, we're going into the 14th billion year. Let AF1 break this down for you. We're going into the 14th billion year, right? So World War Four is going to be beginning to the first, the first war, the space war that will play a factor in this solar system. Cause you're dealing with ones and fours when you're dealing with the fourth dimension. Because we're going into the fourth billion year.
they're going to say it was 4.5 billion years. If it was 4.5 billion years, we'll be in the fourth dimension right now. We're tapping in. You can't just go into the fourth dimension. You can't have beings just go into the fourth dimension without grooming them first. That's just like you go to college. That's why when they say it's, when it's, when it says 4.5 billion, 4.5 billion years old, right? Then now they're saying it's the earth is, uh, uh, 4 point something billion years old, but if it was in the, if it was in the fourth dimension right now, right, we would be our minds would we wouldn't even have to the chosen ones wouldn't even have to speak to each other no more. We just it'd all be telekinesis. That's how you know we're not in the fourth in the fourth dimension, the fourth billion year yet, because you have to be groomed before you get into the next dimension. It's the same way when you go to college. You're not finna go to, you're not finna go from grade school to college. You have to be groomed before you get there, just like the fourth dimension. And it's coming, and when it comes, certain ones are gonna be already groomed for it through the radiation. Ray deation Ra dimensions. Radiation, raw dimensions, raw. Let me see the topic again real quick. Uh, all the distraction too. Everything is a distraction from activation, man. I don't care what teacher it is on the internet. Any anything is just anything. It don't matter what it is. It'd be school, uh, music video, um, internet. But what, don't let them get activated because. When you go back 6,000 years, past 6,000 years, right, <clears throat> how do you think all this stuff got built? The pyramids and all, they were activated. They were activated as a collective. That's how the stuff got built. They were moving as a collective and orchestrating shit. Then, right, that's right, I saw Intel over everything. Then, you get these cats on the internet telling us, oh, the pyramids were there before, before, uh, uh, humanity, uh, even got, was even here. Okay. And so what? Who cares? That's still physical stuff. If you come in with some physical stuff, you better come with some intel and some soul stuff with it because we're done just listening to all this physical stuff. All y'all want is a validation point from somebody, <clears throat> from one of your ancestors, from, you know, some white dude, some black dude, some Indian dude. So all y'all want is a validation point for somewhere just to be like, oh, he's right because I found it here. Man, we going past all this stuff, books, education, all this stuff, man. Ain't they, I always use this as an example, man. Man, you put the Israel, man, carbon beans on this planet. Just because you got carbon don't mean you can run a planet. You can run a society. You know why? Because y'all want to love everybody. That's why y'all, that's why you were stripped of power. That's what, hey, AF1, what do you mean by stripped of power? Your neurocortex that's in the back of your head, your future ascendance, cut your transmission off. That's how you got stripped of your power. They cut it off so you want to receive intelligence no more. So now you've nothing but information you going back in the past like y'all been doing y'all y'all see them on the internet going back in the past they got stripped of their they got stripped of their reception they won't receive an intelligence no more how do you stay in power on a planet you receive intelligence what do you think this means when they go like this they're telling you oh that's satan that's how slow this planet is you regulars are on this planet they're not saying this is satan they're saying we got the transmission ha 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 and y'all don't that's what they're saying. Now, their stuff is even getting cut off. Yeah, you ain't going to find no teaching like this on the internet because it's not in a book. Gosh, man, these people make my damn head hurt on this planet. I had to come back on this planet through this uh, through this uh, damn portal. Come back down here and be. we had to be the first. Somebody had to come first before the other ones come. Somebody had to come first to set the foundation in because we live in a 3D realm. Everything takes time. Everything's supposed, everything goes in seconds. One second, two seconds, three seconds. Nah, no, we don't, we don't count like that in the future. We count like this. One, 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 two, one, three, one, four. Cause they know the ones was coming back. You know, generation A, generation alpha was coming back through the portal. They knew that. They knew this. They already knew all this stuff. 
messing with Generation Alpha, man. Generation, that's like that white dude said. That white dude said it on his video. Y'all go YouTube it and go type in uh, Generation Alpha. It's this white dude. And it was like, after we started pushing it. We started pushing Generation Alpha a minute ago, right? I looked at his date. Dates don't lie. That's why these te when these teachers be taking our stuff, fleeing off the Patreon, they could do everything, but they can't. They cannot manipulate that date. That is a national security issue. You can't manipulate no dates. That's why when I'm dealing with ISIS wisdom, Billy Carson, who else came over here and took stuff from us? ISIS wisdom, Billy Carson, uh, uh, what was that? That one remedy H came over here, took stuff from us. Uh, there's a gang of teachers that then came over here. Oh, oh, Rashad Jamal came over here and took took stuff from us. You see where he at? I keep telling people, man, quit playing around and tell people the source. Tell people the source. These teachers come over here and don't say the source. Especially Billy Carson. He came over here talking about some. Yeah, you know your your, your you know your DNA can get activated. Ain't nobody talking about junk deactivation till I came out with it. Well, why didn't you say what you said you got the source from, Billy Carson? Oh, because I'm actually a weirdo. We already knew that. You ain't saying the source, Billy Carson. ISIS wisdom, you ain't saying the source. Then I seen Red Pill. Was it Red Pill? I don't know. I get them both mixed up, man. But one of them came over here and took some stuff, too. And I'm like, why ain't y'all saying where y'all got this from? Because they are fallen angels. That's why. They're all being exposed in the age of Aquarius. Generation Alpha is back. And we ain't playing no games with none of you teachers on the internet. You better acknowledge the source, man. Because y'all don't want to see World War Four. Stuff I be receiving, the stuff I be receiving in the bed at night and in the daytime. When I when I saw the vision of World War Four, it's not gonna go good. Y'all don't want to see them nano nukes, man. Y'all do not want to see them nano nukes. We're the only ones that could prevent it on the planet. Send that to every everybody on the planet. I don't care who it is. Send it to everybody. Going back to the unseen. See, the unseen is being orchestrated and groomed right now as y'all just walking around society and acting like the unseen is being groomed. Yeah, for broom too. For broom, that that big nuclear warhead chest. That I don't like her. I don't like none of these teachers, man, because they, they, she talking about activation, then she ran off on Patreon. It's documented facts that y'all like to say facts. It can't even go past facts. Google, Siri, and Alexa. Artificial intelligence. Man, she going to sit there. Oh, um, hey, guys, go to my Patreon channel so I can tell you guys how to get activated. How to get act? Bitch, show me. Show me how to get activated since you want to go run around talking about activation. I'm waiting. Let me let me tell me something in the future then since 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 you activated Flabroom. Flabroom. You know that that's just a nickname for witch. Because she's a witch. What a what a witch what a witch is right on. A broom. That's she's a witch. It's in her name. Oh gosh, my head hurt. All you teachers on the internet, all you got to do, this is real simple, right? You you click down here where it says comment. Let me walk. You got to talk to them like they in grade school. To all the teachers that's melanated, carbon, this is how you get in contact with the council. Because you there is nothing else after this. It's a wrap. You guys are just doing this just for fun and clout and whatever else y'all doing it for. Money, because y'all ain't doing it for currency, because y'all ain't moving nothing. So you ain't doing it for currency, you're doing it for money. This for all you teachers out there that took our stuff and fled off and didn't say the source, right? This is how you contact us, all right? There's a little there's a little box right here. It says add comment, right? You click that with your finger, right? And then there's going to be a, a icon that pops up with a whole bunch of letters in it. The top's going to be numbers. 
The rest is going to be letters, right? Then you find AF1, Futuritarians, and you say, hey, my bad, bro, for taking y'all stuff and didn't acknowledge the source. Hey, we need to be underneath y'all because y'all's coming with intelligence and we're still dealing with the last 6,000 years plus off Google, Siri, and Alexa because we can't receive nothing and we be watching your videos peeking through the blinds in the window and then go off on Patreon and then try to make money off of it and then act like we came up with it. So that's why when, when you guys come on the internet, we don't never contact you because we are leeches, vultures, and parasites in the 3D realm with a 2D mind. That's all you got to do. Man. Activated AF1, man. Top of the mind chain. This is sad, man. Y'all teachers are sad, dude. <laughs> Knowing that the intelligence is here. What do you think a psychic is? Y'all sit there and Google psychics and see them. You watch them and stuff. You think you think the carbon beans weren't going to come back and tell y'all to some future stuff? What do you think they was waiting for? All y'all do is go on Google, Siri, and Alexa. That's y'all's God, man. Google, Siri, and Alexa is your God. Anybody want to debate with the Futuritarians? I will debate all y'all. You can put y'all's whole council up against our... I'm talking about every teacher on the internet. Every single one. <laughs> Line them up. I'm going to take the bowling ball pin. I'm going to take the bowling ball. Let me just line them all up. Guaranteed it'll be a strike. <sighs> They're all going to be on the ground like this. Like, damn. All you teachers that came over here and took our stuff, man. All you teachers that came over here and took our stuff ain't nausea. So you think we ain't on a cyberverse watch it, dude? We on there thoroughly. Man, we man, it be stuff sent to me that I ain't wasn't even looking for. And I'll be like, what? That, that's our stuff. Plagiarists. Y'all a bunch of plagiarists, man. Plagiarizing people's stuff, man. You, you know how y'all know y'all plagiarists? <laughs> because Google, Siri, and Alexa is your God. That's how we know. Tell me some futuristic. Give me some intelligence. Intel. When the, when the last time you seen a military go into the country and be like, hey, guys, hey. Hey, Marines, did you get the, the information? They're going to be like, information? What the fuck are you talking about? What, no damn information? We're here for the intel. Well, I got information. I found some couple of books back here in this library. I'm like, books? Motherfucker, where the laptop? Hey, where the laptop at, man? We need a body or something. Give me a body or a laptop, man. Yeah, plagiarizing our work. Got the al they, they, they got the algorithms messed up. They all got the algorithms met messed up. <coughs> you can't. You, that's why they can't run. That's why they can't run nothing. What the man? Please, hey, elites, elites. Whatever you do, y'all know this already. Do not put these niggas in power. They gonna fuck the planet up. They got too much heart. They don't have logic. Why do you think they were stripped of their... Why do you think y'all's ancestors were stripped of power, man? Because y'all started loving every fucking body. That's why y'all got stripped of power. Your neural cortex got cut. Why, if you're the creator, right? Why would he send an army back or some people... Like, just think about this for a minute. Motherfucker's like, oh, uh, 200... Uh, what the Israelites say? The two million chariots are coming. Why, if you created everything, all you got to do is cut their reception off. They're going to fall regardless. All you do is cut their reception off. Give you an example. If you got shields and swords and your enemy got the intel to have guns. No, put it like this. If you got guns, right? And in the future, the creator know you're not worthy of running the planet, right? They're going to send the intelligence to the opposition to start making lasers. So now your guns become the slingshot. You got to talk to these people like they're in elementary class, man. Because these teachers on the internet, the ones that came over, I'm not talking about all you teachers on the internet. I'm talking about the ones that came over here and acted like we don't know they took our stuff, ran off, we ain't swoon, or none of that stuff because we see the future. It's getting deeper than that because y'all don't want to see World War Four.
It's never been about money. It's always been about mind power. Why do you think that the elites is running the planet right now? Because they don't care about money. They care about mind control, mind power. Because if you control that, then you get the money. It don't take a rocket scientist to figure this out. All you cats got all that money, sitting there with all that money and stuff, man, wondering why you still at the bottom of the barrel and these motherfuckers is at the top laughing at y'all because your ancestors weren't worthy even. Your ancestors weren't worthy. Done sugarcoating this stuff, man. Man, line them all up. Every teacher on the internet, you come humble, we'll work with you. You come over here taking stuff, I'm telling you, it's just a matter of time, man, before you just... I'm going to tell y'all like this, right? Somebody kept coming over here messing, mess, messing with my lifestyle, my lifestyle that I was living, Right? True story. I'm man. I'm not even trying to. I'm sh I'm showing y'all the the power of the future, right? Came over here messing with my lifestyle for a while, right? Came here messing with my lifestyle for a while, right? All up in my personal business, right? True story. Nine bullshit. It was New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, it just happened. Now, this dude's been in my lifestyle calling me all type of bitch-ass niggas and all that stuff, a.k.a., excuse my, but, you know, this and that, you know, I'm in my lifestyle and stuff like that. Do you know, okay, on New Year's Eve, right, it went to January 1st, the one, at 4 a.m., remind you, the brother I saw had brought that up to me. He was like, and he died at 4 a.m.? I'm like, yeah. Went to he went to a house party, got into an altercation with a dude at the house party, pulls out a gun on the dude at the house party. The dude, as soon as he pulls the gun out, the dude punches him. Like as soon as he upped the gun, dude hit him. He slipped. I don't know what he slipped on, a bottle or something like that. Slipped, hit his head on a brick, and leaked out whole head. January 1st at 4 p.m. Coming over here messing with the council, man. I keep telling you, cats, just because you just because everything's fine and daddy here, you better contact us, man. If you came over here taking our stuff on some, you better contact us. I'm telling you, it's not gonna go good for your generation. I don't care what you're going through. You if you care about your generation, you better contact us, man. Anybody who came over here, anybody who came over here, took our stuff, plagiarized, Billy Carson. Uh, some of those cats on Black Magic, Remedy H. Who's the other cats that came over here and took our stuff? Flabroom. Flabroom that came over here, took our stuff, ran off on Patreon. Who's the other big Amazon chick? What's the hey I saw? What's the other big amateur Amazon chick's name? I forgot that uh the one down in Mexico. A big Amazon chick down in Mexico. I forgot her name, man. What uh y'all know who I'm talking about. She got that uh East Eastern Island head. Remember Easter Island head when they be sitting in the dirt like this? Well, hey, what's her name? Damn, I forgot that chick's name. Oh, Isis Wisdom, right. Big Easter Island chick head just sitting in the sand and stuff. She just sitting, she just in the sand like this. I don't know why she's sitting up because she ain't receiving nothing. Like, I don't know why she even looking up. Got big forehead. I know I got a big forehead. But man, I know my forehead big. I I rock with that. Her forehead, man. I mean, she got it like an eight head. Don't hey, 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 any any women that get into an altercation with her, don't let her headbutt you, man. I'm telling you, you 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 might die. You just might die, man. You better duck that head, bud. Boy, you better you be better off her punching you or something, man. Don't let her head butt you, man. I'm telling you. Man, your head gonna go back so far, man. It might even hit the damn wall. Just bow. But uh Yeah. Distraction of 
Distraction from activation. 1111 portal. Billy Carson took the 1111 from us. Well, not literally took it from us, but it's so ironic once we figured out he was plagiarizing our stuff. And then we go on uh, Black Ratchet. We go on Black Ratchet and he got the 1111 with the two portals. He don't even know they portals. It's the ones, it's the ones in the 3D coming through a portal, walking back with the ones in the upper dimensions. That's what 1111 means for all you cats that's don't know that all you cats that got 1111 uh, groups and stuff. Man, activated AF1, top of the mic chain, United Fugitarian Council seat. Shout out to the brother I saw. Shout out to the sister Kimberly. We're going to keep moving forward and, uh, we're going to keep moving forward, man. I'll go live again on Instagram, YouTube. Uh, it's the uh, Fugitarians AF1 YouTube channel. Ain't nothing else. Ain't nothing else rocking, man, after this. It's a wrap. It's over with. I won. I won, I raised.